Acts 7. Then said the high priest, Are these things so? And he said, Men, brethren, and fathers, hearken. The L of glory appeared unto our father Abraham, when he was in Aram Naharaim, before he dwelt in Haran, and said unto him, Get you out of your country, and from your kindred, and come into the land which I shall show you. And came he out of the land of the Kazdim, and dwelt in Haran. And from thence, when his father was dead, he removed him unto this land, wherein ye now dwell. And he gave him none inheritance in it, no, not so much as to set his foot on. Yet he promised that he would give it to him for a possession, and to his seed after him, when as yet he had no child. And Elohim spoke on this wise, that his seed should sojourn in a strange land, and that they should bring them into bondage, and entreat them evil four hundred years. And that the nation to whom they shall be in bondage will I judge, said Elohim, and after that they shall come forth and serve me in this place. And he gave him the covenant of circumcision. And so Abraham begat at Yitzhak, and circumcised him the eighth day. And Yitzhak begat at Yaakov, and Yaakov begat at the twelve patriarchs. And the patriarchs, moved with envy, sold Yosef into Mitzrayim. But Elohim was with him, and delivered him out of his afflictions, and gave him favor and wisdom in the sight of Pharaoh, king of Mitzrayim, and made him governor over Mitzrayim and all his house. Now there came a famine over the land of Mitzrayim and Canaan, and great affliction, and our fathers found no substance. But when Yaakov heard that there was grain in Mitzrayim, he sent out our fathers first. And at the second time, Yosef was made known to his brethren, and Yosef's kindred was made known unto Pharaoh. Then sent Yosef and called his father, Yaakov, to him, and all his kindred, threescore and fifteen souls. So Yaakov went down into Mitzrayim and died, he and our fathers, and were carried over into Shechem, and laid in the sepulcher that Abraham brought for a sum of money from the sons of Hamar, the father of Shechem. But when the time of promise drew nigh, which Elohim had sworn to Abraham, the people grew and multiplied in Mitzrayim. Till another king arose, which knew not Yosef. The same dealt subtly with our kindred, and evil entreated our fathers, so that they cast out their young children, to the end they might not live in which time Moshe was born and was exceeding fair, and nourished up in his father's house three months. And when he was cast out, Pharaoh's daughter took him up and nourished him for her own son. And Moshe was learned in all the wisdom of the Mitzrayim and was mighty in words and deeds. And when he was full forty years old, it came into his heart to visit his brethren, the children of Yisrael. And seeing one of them suffer wrong, he defended him and avenged him that was oppressed and smote the Mitzray. For he supposed his brethren would have understood how that Elohim by his hand would deliver them. But they understood not. And the next day he showed himself unto them as they strove and would have set them at one again, saying, Sirs, ye are brethren. 
Why do you wrong one to another? But he that did his neighbor wrong thrust him away, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge over us? Will you kill me as you did the mystery yesterday? Then fled Moshe at this saying, and was a stranger in the land of Midian, where he begot two sons. And when forty years were expired, there appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai an angel of Yahuwah in a flame of fire in a thorn bush. When Moshe saw it, he wondered at the sight, and as he drew near to behold it, the voice of Yahuwah came unto him, saying, I am the Elohim of your fathers, the Elohim of Abraham, and the Elohim of Yitzhak, and the Elohim of Yaakov. Then Moshe trembled, and dared not behold. Then said Yehoah unto him, Put off your shoes from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I have seen I have seen at the affliction of my people, which is in Mitzrayim, and I have heard at their groaning, and am come down to deliver them. And now come, I will send you unto Mitzrayim. This Moshe, whom they refused, saying, Who made you a ruler and a judge? The same did Yahuwah send to be a ruler and a deliverer by the hand of the angel which appeared to him in the thorn bush. He brought them out. After that he had showed wonders and signs in the land of Mitzrayim, and in the Red Sea, and in the wilderness, forty years. This is that Moshe which said unto the children of Yeshurel, a prophet shall Yahuwah Elohim raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me, him shall ye hear. This is he that was of the called out assembly in the wilderness with the angel which spoke to him in the Mount Sinai, and with our fathers who received the lively oracles to give unto us to whom our fathers would not obey, but thrust from them, and in their hearts turned back again unto Mitzrayim, saying unto Aharon, Make us Elohim to go before us, for as this Moshe, which brought us out of the land of Mitzrayim, we know not what is become of him. And they made a calf in those days and offered sacrifice unto the idol, and rejoiced in the works of their own hands. And Yahuwah turned, and gave them up to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the Sefer of the Prophets, O ye house of Yasharel, have ye offered to me slain beasts and sacrifices by the space of forty years in the wilderness? Yea. You took up at the tabernacle of Molech, and the star of your Elohim Remphan, figures which ye made to worship them, and I will carry you away beyond Babel. Our fathers had the tabernacle of witness in the wilderness, as he had appointed, speaking unto Moshe, that he should make it according to the fashion that he had seen, which also our fathers that came after brought in with Yahusha into the possession of the other nations, whom Yahuwah drove out before the face of our fathers unto the days of David, who found favor before Yahuwah and desired to find a tabernacle for the Elohim of Yaakov, Shalomah built him a house. Howbeit El Elyon dwells not in temples made with hands, 
as said the prophet, Heaven is my throne, and earth is my footstool. What house will you build me, says Yahuwah, or what is the place of my rest? Has not my hand made us all these things? Ye stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears, ye do always resist the Ruach HaKodesh, as your fathers did, so do ye. Which of the prophets have not your fathers persecuted? And they have slain them, as which showed before of the coming of the just one, of whom ye have been now the betrayers and murderers, who have received the Torah by the disposition of Elohim and have not kept it. When they heard these things, they were cut to the heart, and they gnashed on him with their teeth. But he being full of the Ruach HaKodesh, looked up steadfastly into heaven and saw the glory of Yah and Yahusha standing on the right hand of Yahuwah and said, Behold, I seeth the heavens opened and the son of Adam standing on the right hand of Yah. Then they cried out with a loud voice and stopped their ears and ran upon him with one accord and cast him out of the city and stoned him. And the witnesses laid down their clothes at a young man's feet, whose name was Shaul. And they stoned Stephen, calling upon Yahuwah and saying, Adonai, Yahushua, receive my ruah. And he kneeled down and cried with a loud voice, Adonai, lay not this sin to their charge. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. <laughs>